165 miles per hour, but notice how the gusts here are up to 200 miles per hour. These red dots here, that is going to be our strongest year. So where we are seeing that rotation, the tornadic activity. I am live on the northeast side of Starkville and right behind me here, we're looking towards the west. So these storms will be moving from the west to the east and you can actually still see a glimpse of sunlight in your safe space. Now it's another reason you don't want to be out in it. Lightning is a big threat. And then notice how this low pressure system really starts to build in early Wednesday morning. That's where we see this discrepancy of a snow, wintry mix and range. Anybody that knows me knows that I'm a huge musical fan. So I do expect us to continue to warm up until then. Our hottest day of the summer so far, 99 around a month ago, June 24th. On the 10th of February is the orange cream Coca-Cola. Okay. There are actually two types this time. So let's gulp this down real quick. Okay. <laughs> Many of us felt some summer like temperatures today. If you had any Easter egg hunts, that chocolate might have been melting. Happy game day, Bulldogs. Cowbells have been nice and loud here in Davis Wade Stadium, but luckily the weather has remained quiet. Well, it's been a very quiet Saturday, but that is all ahead of some strong storms all associated with a low pressure system off into the Great Plains, bringing in some cooler air and some strong storms for our Saturday evening. Right now, though, we've got some heavy clouds across the area. Those clouds are actually keeping the air a little more stable for us. The less clouds we have, the more sunshine. That means we have more energy in the air for these systems to become stronger. So luckily, these clouds are a good sign as far as just how strong these storms can be for us this evening. But we're up to 86, so definitely still warm, pretty humid as well. Winds out of the south bringing in more of that humidity and warmth, which is energy to fuel those storms as well. So look at this. We're almost around 15 miles per hour for most of us, 14 miles per hour in Starkville, Columbus. But look at these gusts. They are much stronger, upwards of around 25 miles per hour for many of us. And that's all fueling this storm system as well. But I want to track this out for you because wind is the main threat for our Saturday evening as these storms approach. We'll be around 20 miles mile per hour wind gusts throughout Saturday evening around dinner time. But after sunsets, notice how when this front approaches with all of those storms, we're talking about wind gusts up to around 35 miles per hour. Even some of us likely seeing around 40 mile per hour wind gusts. So that could be very strong. If you have any outdoor objects, any outdoor pets, anything outside, make sure that is inside as these storms are approaching very strong wind gusts. Look at that here, 11 PM, even in through those early morning hours around midnight and after around 40 mile per hour winds are likely for many of us. Us. This does taper off by Sunday morning, a much milder wake up for your Sunday into the start of the week. The Storm Prediction Center has placed us in a slight level two a severe weather risk. That's bullseye across the entire state of Mississippi, including all of our viewing area. And most of that is going to be the wind. Look at that. Damaging wind is where we are seeing the highest threat. Tornadoes cannot be ruled out. If we do see some likely embedded in the storms, very quick spin up, something to keep in mind. So make sure you have a way of receiving alerts tonight just in case, but once again, the main threat is just damaging winds, not necessarily a tornado but the tornado cannot be ruled out. Hail is on the low end today. Still a possibility of some flooding as well, just because of how fast this rain is going to come down. So take a look at how fast it's going to be approaching. We're very dry for your Saturday evening. Before sunset, some more clouds will be building in. By 7 p.m. after sunset, that's really when we're starting to see a few of those pop-up showers. So some of us are starting to feel that. But by 9 p.m. and onward, that's when we're really seeing these stronger systems approach. By 10, 11 p.m., lots of rain, lots of thunder, strong winds moving through the area 1 a.m. to around 5 a.m. Still the whole swath of the area getting plummeted with lots and lots of rain. So notice how that moves in, though. That will be out by Sunday morning. So if you have any Sunday morning plans heading out to church, you likely won't even need a rain jacket. A few spotty showers are possible, but that will all push through and it is really going to quickly move out, bringing in some cool, dry air. And our Sunday and Monday is going to be very seasonable, feeling like fall. But here's why we could still have some flash flooding. We're seeing almost an inch in just a few hours from Saturday to Sunday in Aberdeen, Eupora, Ackerman, Louisville. So keep that in mind, many of us at least three fourths of an inch. So lots of rain in just a few short hours. Good news is, though, we're going to be dry to start off the week, and I don't expect us to even break the 80 point. So that's a great news for the rest of the week. Very fall like 76 for your Monday, 78 for Tuesday. A few spotty showers are possible Tuesday. We'll have a very dry week ahead of our next weekend rain chance there for Friday and Saturday. But for now, you'll need that rain jacket this evening. But the rest of the week, very fall like and seasonable after that front pushes through. CBI First Alert Forecast with Sadie Morris.
Thanks for joining us on your Monday morning. We're starting off the week on an absolutely beautiful note. Here's a live look outside of Mississippi State University. Last week of classes for students into finals and it is absolutely gorgeous today. So take advantage. It's going to be a beautiful day on campus and across the board. The entire region nice and dry. Twin states, especially very, very dry. Just a few clouds off towards the north, but for the most part, very dry today. But we are cool in the 40s, 49 in Columbus, 46 in Aberdeen, 48 in Starkville, 50 up in Corinth, for, but for a majority of us in those upper 40s. So you might want a light jacket if you're out uh, this morning, but you won't need it for the rest of the day. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. Over the next few hours, our temperatures are going to climb very quickly with the help of all of the sunshine. Sunny and 75 today, a little bit of a breeze out of the west, but over Overall, very, very calm, low humidity, very little wind, gorgeous day to get outside. 65 by 10 a.m., 70 by noon, 75 by this afternoon, and back into the 60s this evening. Now, take advantage of today because we have a very wet week in store. Plenty of rain across the board. By Tuesday, a 50% chance of rain. This will mostly be in the evening, so if you do have uh, plans for the day, it will be mostly dry, but by the evening, 50% chance of rain, 60% by Wednesday, dwindling off a little bit, 40% for Thursday, and then 30 by Friday. Should have a clear weekend in sight, though, as of right now. We do expect anywhere between one to three inches. Some areas to our south could see even upwards of six inches of rain over the next five days, which is why we do have the potential for some flash flooding. So keep that in mind, especially Tuesday as the system approaches. Definitely going to want to be weather aware if you are on the roads. Lots of rain in just a short amount of time. So we'll stay nice and dry for your Monday. Some clouds will build in for your Tuesday, but luckily if you have any plans throughout the day, as of right now, it's looking good to go, but by the dinner hour and into the evening is when we expect some heavy rainfall to make its way into the picture. As this low pressure system continues to move closer and closer to us, we're just going to continue to get more and more rain. So that's going to stall out very slow moving by Thursday. More rain wraps around for Thursday and into Friday. So just a continual wet pattern for the entire week, but very, very nice Monday. So take advantage of it. Beautiful sunny and 75 conditions for Monday. Now temperatures are going to rise just a little bit for these over Overnight lows 53 as you're waking up for your Tuesday morning, 77 by Tuesday, but tons of rain in sight. So have that rain jacket on hand, but very nice Monday. Get outside and enjoy it while you can.